So here's a method that I came up with. It's a songwriting technique. It's easy enough for five and six year olds to do it because I tried it at a art and science school in Boise, Idaho. Um, and I also used it to write my hit song for MTV The Hills, uh, Monday. So I like to start off with whether it's your piece of paper, your journal, or your whiteboard, or your chalkboard. Um, I like to start off with four circles. And if you feel inspired to do more circles, less circles, please by all means. It's writing songs is a very individual process. So just trust your process and trust your creative thoughts throughout this whole thing. Um, so for Monday, I chose three main thoughts and three main words that I wanted to stem from. And those three words, uh, happy, love, and routine. In this fourth circle, I put um, other ideas. So if any quotes or any stream of thoughts or words come that spark my interest during this process, I can write them down even if they don't have anything to do with these main topics. So I'm going to start by showing you what I came up with for routine. I'm going to write it on the board and then I'll come back and explain it to you. So here what I came up with were a few words that made me think of routine. Nine to five, predictable, all day, deals, like business deals. So that's what I came up with for routine. In the love circle, I chose a couple words. Skin kiss, compromise, relationship, flow, wind, and I also did one right here, stars, and please feel free if any of these words off of your main topic spark interest. What I did here was just stars made me think of shining and, and bright, so I, I included and incorporated those words as well. So with the word happy, I chose a couple things. La la's, that came to me skipping down the street. It kind of had this image, la 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 la. So I, I chose that, I wrote that down. Um, smiles, uh, as well as crazy and um, like crazy happy. Um, and in my other circle here, with my other ideas, a couple phrases came to me. Better off alone, that just kept coming to me, so I trusted it and I wrote it down, as well as it's clear to me. Okay. So I erased what I had on, we don't have enough room here, but what you're gonna wanna do is take that piece of paper, or if you're on a whiteboard, make sure that you have another space, that you can write down lines, um, and this is where we start to put together phrases, sentences, to write our verse, our build, our chorus, and our bridge. So for you beginners, I'm gonna give you a 101 basis on what a verse is, what a chorus is, and um, a build, and so on. So a verse essentially is where you draw your listeners in and you tell your story, you begin to tell your story. You wanna reveal a little bit about what's going on, but mostly you're gonna really drive the point home in your choruses. So following the verse, I like to do a build before a chorus. And a build essentially can be music and it could, um, as I say, crescendo in an upward direction, um, meaning it could get louder or more intense or drums or when you hear the dun 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 dun, that is a build on drums. Now we, we can do that lyrically and melodically in our song. Specifically when I say it's not gonna fly in the song. That right there is the build leading into the chorus. That is the pinnacle, the peak, the climax of what a build is. Now it's interesting because in this song I decided to go a different route 
in writing my chorus, I decided instead of it being a word-driven chorus that I was going to make a simple yet catchy melody that would allow listeners to catch on easy and also it's easy to place into motion pictures, TV shows, because it doesn't contradict with what's happening in the scene. So I chose La La La's. I chose to keep a simple melody that's catchy and uplifting. I then followed after the chorus another verse, so a second verse that reveals more of my story, more in detail, if you will, into a build again, which can be the same lyrics into the chorus. Again, the la la la's, a uplifting, catchy melody, super simple. It's also very important when you're writing a song to have a bridge, something that's completely different. I like to choose a, a different melody, of course, and a different a lyrical standpoint, something that really takes the listener away, takes them to that other place, so that when you come back to home base, when you come back to the chorus, which I consider home base, it's an even more warming, familiar, comfortable place for the listener because they've heard that before. And if you take them away from that in a bridge, then they attach to that chorus and it makes them want to listen to it again and again. So because I chose in my chorus to do la la la's and not to do lyrics, so to speak, I, I chose at the end of the song, after the bridge, leading into the chorus, vamping out on the chorus, I threw in an extra verse, if you will, that gives the listeners another kind of something special, something extra to listen to, another continuation of the story, if you will. I felt this was necessary just because the chorus is just really a simple melody. La la la's are so common in songs and can be placed everywhere. I'd also like to note that in this song, I really tried to diversify my parts, my verse, my build, my chorus. So it's really helpful when you're writing your song, especially for TV and film, to be able to have a diverse array of, of sounds and kind of options for people who are placing your music. For example, the chorus of mine, La 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 La, can be, take, can be taken in itself and placed in a scene. For another example, my bridge, Stars Shine Bright, against the wind. It's kind of an airy vibe. It's an airy feel. That could be placed in a love scene. You never know. So keep in mind that when you are writing your hit singles or your hit songs and you want them to be placed in movies and TV, remember diversity is really important. So each section of your song, my, my verse, it's a 10 second almost verse, and that can be placed in in a specific scene and I still get paid for that 10 seconds and it's also really important because in that same song but a different scene or a different TV show but because it's that different part whether it's the bridge or the chorus and not the verse that can also be taken and placed in a scene so it's really important that when you're writing and if you get a writer's block to really push through that and if the song is going in a different direction for certain parts, that's okay. Embrace and trust that creative process. Monday might as well be Sunday. It's so predictable. So the story goes. Someday we could be so happy.